G'day guys, thanks for checking out the video. This is a little tip on Radio Logic DJ, a very, very powerful program that you can get for very cheap. If you're running internet radio or even radio at home like I am with uh, over airfoil and through an Apple Express, Airport Express, you'll be surprised what you can do with this thing. There's a scheduler that's attached to it and you can program in all sorts of cool things. Back sell, pre-selling songs. In this case, this video is about the time announced time stub. And there's a couple of important things that you've got to do to make sure that happens. So in this case, um, what we've got here, as you can see, there's a time stub set for 8.43. And we're a couple of minutes away from that at the end of this song. And then there's also another one there at 8.47. Now, the one at 8.47 I know is not recorded, so it will play through, but there's going to be nothing on it. So at this point, we actually need to attach a file to that. You can see over here, this one's preloaded. And that's the time announced for 8.43. And you can see the waveform there. So what we'll do is we'll go and record this one for 8.47. So we'll just go to Reaper, another awesome program. So we'll record this one in. It's 8.47 in our lovely radio voice. So we'll just highlight the bit that we want here in Reaper. And you might have another um, digital audio workstation or something there that you can use to record these in. Now in this case, we're, because we're doing the 8 o'clock hour, we have to call it 0847. Kind of self-explanatory really. And just got to make sure that goes into the Radio Logic Time Announce folder. So that way Radio Logic knows where to draw it from. Now I'm using mono because I can save hardware and real estate space basically. Uh, your, your default may actually be stereo, but that's okay either way. And as long as it is saved as an AIFF file that'll be fine. So I'm just going to render the time selection, just the bit that we've selected there. And that's done. So if we actually go back to Radio Logic, oops, gone past it, that one there. And what we can do is probably hear that time announce very shortly. So the cool thing about this is that when you've got that all up and running, it's just going to make your radio station sound more alive because the scheduler does such a good job. And what it does is that it... Um, it actually picks out the time announce and schedules it right in to the anywhere within that minute and you'll actually hear it. So here it comes here. It's 8.43. Nobody rocks the vinyl like DJ Jesse Joel Free Range Radio. So there you go, the time announce. Not the exact one that we recorded, that'll play very shortly, uh, but one that I've done earlier. So that's a very easy way to do it. Now you can actually download the folder from the programmer of DJ, or Radio Logic DJ, and you'll have all his voiceovers in there. You can do your own, obviously. The main one I really wanted to get was just the fact of what are they called, and you have to go through each one. There's about 760 odd recordings for 12 hours. So you've got to make sure they're all labeled correctly. So you could use that one as a guide, so realistically, you know, anywhere between 7 o'clock, there we go, it's 07, 18 for 18 past. So you just do that, you do a whole lot of these recordings. So uh, I'm doing it just a little bit at a time, just so that we can, you know, get something happening, um, especially when the kids are listening and they've got an idea of what time it is and what time's bedtime, right? 